Last week, we featured Father Kanyonza's story here on NTV, where he spoke briefly about his life with Sevo thanking him. During our visit to Rushoroza Cathedral Parish in Kavale Diocese in southwestern Uganda, we were told about Father Dr. Vincent Kanyonza. Having recently turned 93 years, Father Kanyonza was until Wednesday the oldest priest of the diocese. Born in 1929 in Muyumbu village near Chigezi College, Butawere, he went to school in the present-day Chitavi Seminary before proceeding to the Brothers of Christian Instruction School in Chisubi. He was ordained a priest on the 9th of December, 1959. Say, I do not know him. During his childhood in the 1930s, Father Kanyonza told us his father had been a polygamist, but a future priest was asked to stick to the Catholic faith even when some of his siblings joined the Anglican faith. Several priests described him as a perfect example, a mentor, and a model to many vocations in the diocese. A model of virtues, a perfect example, uh, a person who has very good virtues to emulate. We were encouraged when these priests from all over the country in Uganda used to refer to Father Kanyonza as Father Kanyonza the Great. Father Kanyonza was grounded in the Ruchiga language and also wrote several works to enlighten generations to come. And before he retired from active priesthood, Father Kanyonza mentored many priests when he taught theology at Gawa Major Seminary, Katigono Major Seminary in Masaka, and recently St. Paul's Major Seminary in Chinyamasika in Kavarole, among others. Oh, I have taught in the seminary. Where? Major Seminary, Katigono uh, Gaba. For how long? Teaching the theology, so for the systematic theology which formerly they were calling dogmatic. We had been told that Father Kanyonza was excited to see the story when it aired last Sunday, having watched it with various priests. However, on Wednesday, the news came that he had been taken ill and was rushed to Our Lady of Good Care Hospital in Rushoroza, where he died. So several dignitaries from Kavale, among them Finance State Minister Henry Musasizi and MPs Wilfred Nwagava and Henry Kamara, gathered at Rushoroza yesterday for a requiem mass led by the area bishop, Kalist Rubaramira. He loved, he loved the gift of Christ and he did the church. The church will to my heart that is over. In his remarks, Minister Henry Musasizi commended Father Kanyonza for his service to the church and to people wherever he served. He's living a life of sacrifice. Shanga. After a short stint as a curate and parish priest in Rushoroza, Father Kanyonza was appointed Diocesan Education Secretary in 1968. It was in this capacity that he formed the Catholic Teachers Association, through which he was able to start Immaculate Heart Girls School in Yachivale in 1969. Father Kanyonza was also instrumental in the formation of Mary Hill High School, St. Mary's College of Shoroza, and St. Paul's Major Seminary in Chinyamasika in Kawarole. Kawale Municipality MP Henry Kamara, who was until recently his personal doctor, also recalled that the priest had a very good recollection of much of the things he did and people he met. He was very disciplined and you could always want to understand every, each and everything you have talked to him and the advice you have given him. If you couldn't understand, he would ask you again. And then after explanation, he would say, write it for me here, so that I do not forget. He was reported to have supported the learning of nearly 500 people, including retired judge John Bosco Katusi. Another of his former students recently formed a school in Hima in Bunyangabo district, which he called the Father Kanyonza College, in tribute to the priest who paid for his own education. Started in uh, 2020 in the honor of Father Kanyonza because of the love and uh, help he offered to very many, including me. Uh, about education. Father Kanyonza was laid to rest in the clergy's cemetery in Rosha Rosa. Hey,